sweet baby Jesus in the manger. It is so cold in this car. Um, and that's even with me wrapped up in all the layers. Look, I look like a mad little tortoise. Um, I'm going to attempt to be quick, but I always say that, and then I waffle on for 10 minutes. Um, oh, God, it's so cold. Um, I've just been to see um, Violent Night, getting into the festive spirit um, with a really violent Christmas film. So, what's it all about? Well, it is about... The Lightstone family, who are incredibly wealthy, possibly not the nicest people in the world. Head of the family is Gertrude Lightstone, um, played by Beverly D'Angelo of National Lampoon's uh, fame. Uh, she's obviously some sort of businesswoman. She's just a very nice person. The first time we see her, it's Christmas Eve. She's um, ranting and swearing into her phone. And she has two children. She has Jason and Alva. They are both adults with their own children. Um, the siblings are after mum's money. So, yeah, they're a bit greedy and a bit, yeah, not, not nice people. But we see that Jason is maybe trying to reconcile with his wife or his partner. They have a daughter together called Trudy, Gertrude, named after our grandmother. Um, and they're all gathered at the family home, the very impressive family home for Christmas. Um, so you've got Jason and his family, his, his separated from wife, their daughter. You've got the other child, Alva, her um, handsome but stupid boyfriend, Morgan, and then her teenage son, Bert. All gathered to celebrate Christmas. And then some mercenaries turn up determined to steal Christmas from the Lightstone family, specifically to steal $300 million that's resting in the vault. $300 million cash. Now, this heist has been planned meticulously. However, something gets in the way of all their plans, and that something, or rather that someone, is Santa Claus. The real, actual Santa Claus, played here superbly by David Harbour. Um, you will know David Harbour as Jim Harper from Stranger Things. Um, he played Hellboy in that absolutely awful Hellboy film. Um, what else has he been in? Things. Oh, Black Widow. He was in Black Widow playing a, her um, quote-unquote dad. So he's carved out a nice little niche for himself playing big guys, violent guys, violent guys with a soft side. Um, violent Guys with a Heart of Gold, which is definitely what he's playing here. His take on Santa is quite jaded. He's a bit fed up. Um, the film opens with him in a bar in Bristol, of all places, on Christmas Eve, just sinking pints, vomiting over the side of his sleigh, peeing on people below. Well, not people necessarily, but just he's fed up because everybody's greedy. All the kids want video games. Nobody wants anything nice at all you know, can I have cash, can I have this? And he's just a bit jaded and a bit fed up. And when he ends up at the Lightstone's house to deliver Christmas, in the middle of this heist, he then ends up teaming up with Trudy, um, the little girl, Jason's daughter, and between the two of them, they attempt to bring down the bad guys and save Christmas. David Harbour, as I said, is wonderful. The lead mercenary is played by um, John Leguizmo, and he is very good as well. Um, this is the second film I've seen him in this year. He was in um, The Menu as well. Um, and it's nice to see him just popping up in a couple of things. I have no idea how old the guy is now, because the first thing I saw him in was um, Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet when he played um, Tybalt. Uh, and I've seen him in various things over the years. He's in Moulin Rouge as well. He plays uh, toulouse Lautrec. Um, but yeah, it's been nice to see him in two films quite recently, sort of quite close together. Um, he's not a very big guy, uh, John Leguizmo, but he, he plays a really good villain. We get a bit of a backstory on this villain as to why he's turned out the way he is. Why does he hate Christmas so much? Why is he so greedy? Um, it is, I mean, it's going to sound stupid based on the title, I know, but it is really violent. Like, 
there's some really, really nasty, gnarly deaths in this film. It is only a 15, it's not an 18. Um, but there's more than one eye injury or eye death in the film, which is unusual. Um, there's people getting hit with a sledgehammer. Uh, there's ice skate deaths. Someone gets blown up with a grenade. I mean, it's it's quite full on. The issue I have with it is that it's a little bit uneven in its tone because it is genuinely funny at times. It is also incredibly violent. And then it still has quite schmaltzy, typical Christmas movie moments between cutesy, adorable little Trudy and Sienna. And any American child saying, Sienna, just makes me want to vomit. Call him Father Christmas, please. Um... We also get a bit of a backstory on Sienna, on um, on how David Harbour's character came to be Father Christmas. Who was he before? Um, which I found quite interesting. So the tone's a little uneven because it's like quite heartwarming and then really violent and then quite funny. So it... it it channels Home Alone. It even acknowledges the fact that it channels Home Alone because Trudy says at the beginning that she's been allowed to watch it and she's loved it. She greets her dad with Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Um, she sets booby traps for some of the bad guys. But it's, it's very openly paying homage um, to Home Alone. I guess the fact that it's mercenaries taking over a building, this time a very um, grand house versus you know, an office building, but there are shades of Die Hard as well. With the way that David Harbour plays Santa, there's shades of um, Billy Bob Thornton as bad Santa, although obviously this guy is, David Harbour's actually playing the real deal, the actual Santa Claus. Um, but I did laugh a lot. Um, it, I enjoyed the ride. Um, characters were good. I didn't really recognise a huge amount of the cast, to be honest, apart from David Harbour and John Leguizmo and then Beverly D'Angelo I had to look up I knew I knew her but I couldn't pin her down um but yeah it was a good festive romp if you like your Christmas films with um violence and swearing and vomiting uh and schmaltzy hallmark moments then Violent Night is the film for you um I need to go now because have I mentioned bloody cold it is in this car um but yeah enjoy if you like if you want to add a new christmas film to your repertoire sick of the holiday bored of love actually try a bit of violent night um i mean it doesn't appeal to the love actually crowd let's be honest but it was good fun i'm glad i saw it uh, i'm gonna go home now and um sit in front of a radiator thanks for listening katie out